Alright, so Fleeta Facility has new double jumping, and in this video, I'm teaching you some very useful things for it. And you have to know, this is a pretty big deal, because it's on the Fleeta Facility whiteboard, meaning it's gonna change up the game by a lot. Now, there was a lot of other Fleeta Facility changes, but this one is the biggest one by far. Alright, let's jump straight into it. Alright, first off, a couple things you really need to know about this feature. It has a three-second cooldown, something to really keep in mind. This is gonna be very important, because if you wanna use it again, you have to wait three seconds. And this is the first tip here, be very careful of the beast since the beast is buffed and the beast is able to do the exact same as you do so if your double jumping ever goes wrong or you're going against the beast that's very good and is also knowing how to double jump onto everything then make sure to find a vent because that one is going to be your best friend and the beast is now even better than before especially because the jump slowdown is going down from one second to 0 0.8 seconds and even the beast can open doors faster now from 1.5 seconds to one second that is crazy so yes the vent is your best friend as survivor and now let's go over every single tip and trick for the double jumping the ones that you will really use in nearly every single round in the middle room of facility zero you can jump on top of the first floor way easier and that's gonna make you be able to save a person way quicker now this was already possible but it's now way easier look at this this is the double jump and you can just go on the first floor very very easy you can see right here how quick you can go from the bush on the stairs and then on the first floor now the next one might not seem like much but it's gonna save definitely like half a second or maybe a little less but this is definitely going to be something you're going to use in the theater room instead of facility zero and there isn't much to do in facility zero so let's go to homestead this is on the bush in homestead at the white house and you can go from the bush on the roof and it's very very easy and the fun part is that you can do this for nearly every single bush and also on the window at the white house you can jump from the window on the roof and that makes it so easy to just go on the roof same thing with the bush on the side you can jump from the bush on the side on the roof and then you can jump from that roof on top of the main roof these were very known double jumps before but now you can do it with the real double jump that's now a feature and you can see you can just go on the barn now this is going to be a troll trick you jump off the barn but then you jump right back into the barn so you can troll the beast if the beast is for example following you now right next to the barn is the brown house and in the brown house there's so many ways to get on top of it now that it's just crazy now there's a really cool way to get inside of the windows of the brown house you use your double jump and then boom you are inside of the window inside of the brown house it's a very cool way now this is honestly my favorite double jump inside of the entire homestead map inside of the pink room of the brown house and you can see you go stand on the table you jump sideways and then you use your double jump and you're actually able to get on the first floor it is a very cool double jump right there now this one in the home tech garage is also very nice even though it saves like half a second it's really going to be necessary now the beast is a lot faster as well so you can see this is also amazing now this is a jump that everybody used to do with the old double jump and now you can do it with the real double jump and boom you can just get on top of the first floor and you are still able to jump on top of the tube instead of the barn so that's going to be very nice if you really want to save someone it's going to it's going to make sure that you're not going to get hit by the beast that quick now right here at the garage last tips and tricks i show you how to get up but now it's even easier you just double jump to get up and you just get up now i think this is one of the best things ever for the homestead map now you can double jump if you see this is at logs in the homestead you just double jump and you get out of logs so the beast is not going to be able to capture you that easily anymore this double jump trick is also very nice you get on the barrel at the garage and then from the barrel you get on the roof and that is also very nice and very quick and like i said before on the white house you can get on the bush and then you can get on the roof but this bush is pretty far away from the roof so it is pretty nice that you can still jump on the roof from that bush this one is a little harder than the other bushes around the white house now this is a tip right here right here you have the barn try to find shortcuts right here is a very good example for a shortcut that i found inside of the barn make sure you find them because you're going to be quicker than the beast the beast also has double jumps so make sure you use these kind of things because you're gonna get a little advantage now this one is also pretty sweet inside of the brown house you can jump from the stairs instantly to the first floor very nice very quick you know it's something you really have to know the same thing goes for the white house right over here if you go on the plank you double jump you can go instantly on the roof and you'll be like half a second quicker really use these kind, these kind of things because the beast will catch up to you i already was right here inside of the brown house in this room and look at this i can jump on the left side as well 
onto the first floor, it's so easy now to jump with double jump anywhere. And a big tip for me, start trolling with double jump. Look at this. I can just jump over the beast and the beast has no clue. And like I said, the beast can also jump just as quick as you can on top of the roof. And you can see right here, the beast is just as quick as you. Another really good trolling tip right here is to make the beast believe that you jump off the roof, but instead make sure that you just jump right back onto the roof. Another very amazing spot is right here at the brown house. You just jump right on the roof to escape from the beast if you really want to escape quickly from the beast because this is a spot that not a lot of people will see. And right here at the shed, you can see that it's very easy to jump on top of the tube and from the tube to jump on top of the shed. It's very nice and keep this one in mind because you might use this while saving. If the beast is chasing you, go behind the shed and quickly go over it. I'm showing it you very slowly, but this is how you could escape a little quicker. Again, just half a second, but this could make the difference. And now the airport map, there's a lot of things possible with the double jump here as well. For example, right over here, we are at the elevator and the elevator, yeah, it is possible with the double jump. So that is possible again when it wasn't possible before, but now you can jump in the elevator again. The same thing with the coffee bar in airport. It's a very simple thing. You just jump and boom, you are on the bridge inside of airport. And another very cool shortcut. It is a little harder. I'm going to say that, but it is possible and it is very cool to do. So if you want to escape from the beast and the beast cannot go through vents, I repeat, the beast cannot go through vents. This is a very good one to use. And if you want to jump from the crate to the bridge, that is also possible. There is a lot of possibilities for the survivor to use the double jump in airport. And the other crate next to it as well, as you probably can see right here, you jump backwards and then you jump forwards with the double jump and you are on the bridge, which is also a very cool jump. You can do a lot of cool things with double jump. I've already showed how to do the double jump on this crate, but you can also do it to the other side of the bridge and that is very nice. If the beast is, for example, following you from another direction you can also be a little quicker on the stairs near the exit in the airport you can see it right here it's also very nice to use in this situation i've no idea what i'm jumping from right now but you can jump backwards and then forward and then you are also on the bridge so that is also a very nice jump just to escape from the beast because the beast might not even know how to do this all right we're right here at the window and this window you might be thinking there is nothing changed but there is definitely something changed over here because you can now actually climb on this window you don't have to jump through it anymore as beast so it's gonna be a lot easier to use the only thing you're just gonna have to do when you're beast imagine me just being the beast right now the only thing you're gonna have to do is just make sure you're standing right in front of the side of the window and then you just climb you can see I'm climbing Climbing, and then you just turn and boom you are walking through the window so yeah it's not that difficult to do and you can do it on nearly every single window inside of the facility zero map and you can see right here it is working and you can also do it right over here right over at, oh right over here so it was working on every single window I think there is probably some windows it might not work at I ran into one at the theater room it's not working but this one is definitely working so this is a very good way to make sure that you don't have to jump as beast because if you have to jump as beast it's just gonna give you a little slow and i you don't you don't really want that anyway just make sure you take the double jumping pretty serious because i think it is really here to stay and it's not going away anytime soon well like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and learned something in this video and click right here because i know you'll love that video and i'll see you in that next video Bye bye